In this video, I just want to show you a couple of major steps you need to follow and to understand in the right way matte painting techniques in uh, Archivis. When, before we starting with any uh, projects, we need just need to create a scenario or just with simple brush, you can draw over your idea or just to sketch your thoughts on a white paper for uh, getting understanding of what you need to uh, go for in your scene and the purpose of this kind of exercise is just to show you guys that you can be uh, pretty creative on just by staying on the Photoshop itself and the matte painting uh, in general the techniques uh, they uh, used on the matte painting workflow are extremely useful in our daily workflow on working in archivist scene and here what I'm showing you now is just a simple example of how the ideas can be um, created and how we can start before we are doing some cutoff on the images we just need to uh, drop a couple of lines and just to play around with the brush to get simple idea of the direction we need to go for in our matte painting project so I'm uh, drawing something similar to building structure horizontal line and so on until I'm satisfied with the direction of where I want to go for and how I said the things here now is just to have an exercise of what we are doing before we are cutting some images and here I am giving you an example of the pexels.com website where you can find nice photos of different objects you can use in your scene and the website provides itself uh, nice images with huge resolution here for example laundry uh, which I would like to use you just need to download also you can donate if you want and this is my first image I would like to use in my uh, my pending scene I'm masking simple I have my horizontal line just for basic understanding the scale and the measure of what we are doing and by uh, painting over on the mask we can increase uh, appearance of the image itself and how you see uh, what I'm showing you now is just a basic understanding of the workflow and what is needed before we starting uh, with the matte painting itself so we need to overlap a couple of images let's say in that order I know it sounds pretty basic but the things what I would like to share with you is um, to have nice understanding of what we are doing exactly before we are starting with the matte painting workflow so for example I found a nice image of a lake or swamp with uh, reflected sunlight and I would like to use it in my scene 
so you can solve your projects with couple of similar images what I'm showing right now the thing is um, in the right research you need to provide and by going step by step uh, you can how I said you can solve your projects with couple of images you just need to find the right one to overlap and start masking over how I'm doing it this right now so in general you need to be optimized in your workflow and by finding the right images for your scene you can be pretty quick and you can get nice result in a couple of minutes like how I'm showing you here in the videos the purpose of our exam exercise is just to get a rough understanding of how quick we can realize some idea or uh, what we need to create in our post-production project for example and the thing is here for save a huge amount of time which we can use for more creative workflow and we can save some of our 3d uh, archivist steps and as you see uh, it's not necessary to have 3d objects of all we need to uh, create in our scene the thing is just to find the right uh, images with the satisfied resolution size and to import in our scene to use some of the things we need to apply in our uh, matte painting projects is how I say to save huge amount of time and to go further for uh, corrections and to get a quick feedback from uh, our customers the things in the matte painting is um, to write to find the right uh, size of images and resolution also you need to bear in mind the uh, light source shadows texture and so on but also you can paint it over and um, in the post-production process itself you can stick all the images in one and actually this is the strength of uh, matte painting which is saving huge amount of time there is a lot of artists they don't rely so much on the post-production process itself they said we need uh, we just um, have uh, our 3d which is coming out from our um, 3d max and they said that this is pretty enough but actually um, with the post-production process you can bring much more soul and uh, blood in your project I would like to say and you see you can solve uh, your project and you can save a uh, lot of steps just by using the right images and getting nice results and I will say even you can get much more realistic results mm instead of uh, trying to uh, push more and more in the very materials lights camera settings and so on until you're getting the same result in the 3d max so just by a couple of steps you can uh, solve all the things in the post-production process by using matte painting tricks and tips and how I said the the the, the and so on but just using simple techniques and working only in Photoshop you can get a highly photo realistic result so my painting um, actually is a uh, 
huge area of artistic uh, images and uh, the common purpose of matte painting is used by the game industry industry but um, <clears throat> we are using i'll say pretty similar techniques in our daily workflow and saving time in our projects is the key uh, factor which uh, allow us to uh, go further with much more uh, useful things and to be more focused on the creativity itself so again um, the breakpoint how I like to say uh, a good to be a good artist is uh, in the skills of using matte painting techniques for your projects so thanks for watching guys uh, stay tuned and keep exercise in the way of getting perfection thanks